Hello, welcome. This is Teen Colors. My name is Christy Madu and I will be your tutor for today. Today we will be talking about pattern recognition. So at the end of this class, you'll be able to identify patterns and know how to use them to solve a particular problem. Good. So what is pattern recognition? Pattern recognition simply means the act of finding similarities in ideas and objects. Let's take that one more time. Pattern recognition simply means the act of finding similarities in objects and ideas. Very good. So now let's move on. Um, do you know that every day we get to experience um, pattern recognition or we get to use patterns to plan our life? Now let's take into consideration seasons, okay? We know um, when to get ready for the raining season and we know when to get ready for the dry season. This will not be possible if it doesn't repeat itself in patterns, okay? So we know that at this time of the year, um, it's the rainy season and we know at this time of the year, it's the dry season, okay? Um, same thing applies to our fruits. Some fruits um, are seasonal. Who can give me an example of a seasonal fruit? Very good, he said mango. Mango seems to be his favorite food. Am I correct? Good. Okay, so mango is his favorite fruit and um, it comes in seasons. So now he's always looking forward to the season of mango because it happens in a pattern. All right, do we understand that? Very good. So now I would like someone from the class to give me another example of pattern recognition. Very good. She said traffic lights. That is a very good example of pattern recognition. Now, our traffic lights um, have a particular interval that they follow. So we know that it's red, yellow, green. That's a very, very wonderful example. Can somebody else give me another example? Okay, that's very lovely. Wow, my students are making me proud. That's really lovely. And he gave another um, example of patterns or pins that we use on our phones. So when you give your phone a particular pattern or pin that this is what you want it to, or this is how you want to assess your phone, it is only that pin and that pattern it recognizes. If you come and you give it a different pin, your phone will not open, right? Good. That is very, very good. Now I like the fact that we are all um, catching on to this quickly. That's very nice. Okay. So do you also know that our robots um, also follow a particular pattern to function? Good. We give our robots codes and then we tell our robots this is what we want you to do. So our robots follow a particular code and that's way it's following a pattern and that pattern is what we have given it to follow. All right, we can also use pattern recognition when we're solving mathematics in our classrooms. Do you know that? Good. Now, um, we know that uh, we have some formulas um, that we use in math to get to your answer. So, if you have a particular formula to follow and you use another formula to solve that equation, will you get the correct answer? No, you won't. That means you must follow the pattern of the correct um, formula to be used. So that way we are using that in our math um, classroom soon. So we're not only using that in computer, we're using that in our classrooms, we're using pattern recognition in our lives, and we're using it on our phones, and we're using it on almost everything we do. Pattern recognition is really important because that way we're able to know um, the problems that we have faced before, how to solve these problems if we have faced them before and how to get to the right solution, okay? And also, 
using patterns are also very important because whenever we get um, we are faced with a problem all we need to do is just to go back and research and check if we've encountered or if anyone has encountered this kind of problem and how do we solve it what's the next step to take okay so don't forget that in all this we are talking about computational thinking and I've said in this we have the algorithm we have the abstraction we have the pattern recognition and we have the decomposition all right so we're using all this together we can always solve our problems so let's um, recap all we have learned today who can tell me what pattern recognition is let's go over that again very good Pattern recognition simply means the act of identifying similarities in ideas and objects. Very good. Let's take that again. Pattern recognition is the act of identifying similarities in ideas and objects. That's very lovely. So with this, we've come to the end of our class. Um, it was a fun experience talking with my students and I hope that we'll, able, we'll be able to use pattern recognition to solve more problems. So in the comment section, I want you to um, tell me cases where you've used pattern recognition to solve a problem and um, tell me how you use that to solve your problem. Also, I would also like you to also give me a problem where we use the four steps that I've mentioned in this course of the lesson to solve our problem. I'll be looking forward to hearing from you. Make sure you keep safe and stay well. Thank you.